Seahawks in NOLA to play the Saints. Cynthia Freeland, choose. With an asterisk, the Seahawks. I'm really worried about Russell Wilson's knee. I mean, you haven't seen him be very Russell Wilson-like this year so far. I have the Seahawks edging out the Saints, but if we hear more news about that knee, then I will be a What are you worried about, that he might not play? I, it's it's not that he might not play, but that he might not be able to get the ball to Doug Baldwin or you Tyler think, Lockett. You thought or, coming out of the bye that that would be the trick, but right. it was not the trick against uh, – and, and the other thing is, too, that is practically the ongoing concern and has been for several years. Tom Cable is always looked to to fix that offensive line. Yep. He is – by the uh, according to Michael Robinson, the longtime Seahawk, now yep. our pal here at NFL Media – points out the most important figure, even when Marshawn Lynch was there, the most important figure in the Seahawks organization is Tom Cable because that it allows them not to spend money on the offensive line. And round about midseason, they always become a uh, position of strength there. I don't know this year, though, if that's going to happen. Mm. All that being said, I'm going with the Seahawks, too. I'm going to go with the Seahawks uh, with Jimmy Graham not, you know, maybe potentially not playing. We're going to call this one Max Unger Bowl. I like I'm really it. excited about that. Um, uh, but I think I I agree with you, Cynthia. I think that Russell Wilson is a big question mark. It definitely has taken away a big part of that Seahawks offense. But against that against the Saints defense, I'm not sure it's enough I, of it to to be gone that it, that it would make a difference. The only thing here is that I know it's a legion of boom, but it's not like Drew Brees is going to be like, you know what, I'm just going to sit this one out, right? Like he's still gonna, you're still going to get that sure. pace. You're still going to get the million throws. Yep. You're still going to get all of those things. So if something breaks down and you don't have any, it's kind of like run support in baseball, right? Like your your pitcher still needs some run support, even yep. if he's an ace. So for me, if you don't have anything, any run support, it's going to be very hard without Russell Wilson scoring you more points than we've seen because Drew Brees will keep coming at you. He's not, I mean. Yep. I think, yeah, he always plays better in the Dome. We know that uh, in mm-hmm. fantasy terms. I know Russell's played pretty well on the road this season. 14 points home road splits. Uh, to me, it's like, well, if your knee's busted, then you're not. it doesn't really matter if you're home right. away or on the moon, right? So uh, I think Breeze will give and uh, and get against this defense. Mm-hmm. He'll throw to and, yep. uh, to his guys, and he'll throw to, to the Legion of Boone. But there. it's funny, these two quarterbacks, you know, they're pretty similar in terms of stature. They've definitely they've worked together. I know that Russell Wilson to sort of pick Drew Brees' brain about what it's like to be, I guess, what people consider an undersized quarterback in the NFL. You're talking about and height, but I, Drew but, Brees but is a much skinnier, of course, th- like trimmer. But but Brees earlier on his, in his career used to used to scramble around not quite as much as Russell Wilson has done. But maybe Russell Wilson can take something away from how Brees now plays. You know, pretty much always in in the pocket. 